aquí. Hello, good to do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Everything is clear. Yeah. Welcome everybody. It's nice to have you again. We have another day. We have Wednesday. Uh, and we will keep learning English on this day. So it's nice to have you. And I hope everybody is okay at home. Let's continue working on this thing that is called uh, learning English. As you may know, we have section number five. Tell me about your relatives and family. And on today's class, we're going to have a short review, a little bit of present continuous and in simple present tense. As you may know, these are the two ones that we were going to talk about today. And this is pre-intermediate number one, and this is class number 15. So welcome. It's my pleasure to be here. I hope everybody is okay at home, ready to keep practicing this call that is practicing this thing that is English, okay? You, uh, don't forget you have the platform available over there so you can uh, do the exercise that you have. Also check the material available for you to practice. And if you have a question, let me know any any time, okay? There is someone in the chat. Okay, Alba Cruz, thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you, thank you. Ya revisé el chat on Zoom, so thank you so much for uh, letting me know that. Okay, so welcome, 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 people. Yeah, let's see, we have another minister as well. Welcome, Irma. Hello, Irma. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Mr. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Me too. I'm, Thank you I'm so fine. Much. Thank you for Sounds asking. Good. Sounds good. Uh, Juan Carlos, thank you so much. Good evening. Sí, ya le tomé ahorita, Juan Carlos. Um, okay, Jose Antonio Montes. Um, Okay, thank you so much for for letting me know that. Okay, minutes. Okay. Uh, okay, Alba. Um, somebody has told me that. Okay, Juan Carlos Lopez. Okay, Juan Carlos. was uh, Jose Antonio Montes. Um, okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, um, okay, Alejandra, sí, todavía no he pasado la tenda. Okay, so uh, give me a minute. Thank you. Uh, let me check. It's because I'm checking. Um, okay, let me take the attendance. Okay, let's begin with Alejandra. Alejandra Mejia. Hello, Alejandra. No, she isn't. Okay, what about Angel Cibrian? No. Carlos, hey, coach. Carlos Cibrian, I'm sorry, Angel Isad Cibrian. Here, coach. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you again. Carlos Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Good evening. Claudia Constante. Hello, Claudia Constante. No. Okay. Um, Concepción de Lourdes. Good evening. Thank you so much, Concepción. Uh, Christian Galicia. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Good evening. 
Eh, Dalila, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Dalila. Welcome. Nice to have you. Elena Peralta. I'm here, teacher. Good Perfect. evening. Perfect. Nice to have you again. Gabriela Alejandra Ramírez de Galdames. Gabriela Ramírez de Galdames. No, she isn't here. Gabriela López. Gabriela López. No, okay. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher, good evening. Perfect, nice to have you. Iliana Hernández. Present. Good evening, welcome. Ingrid Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ingrid, welcome. Irma, you're here, right, Irma? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> um, Jefferson Perez. Jefferson Perez? No, he isn't. Jenny Molina? Hello, Jenny. No, she isn't here. Um, Catherine Casadilla. Present. Good evening. Thank you, Catherine. Welcome. Leticia del Carmen Cruz. No, she isn't. Uh, Luis Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Welcome. Good evening. Mariela. Mariela Martinez. No, she isn't. Um, Miguel Ángel Meléndez. Miguel Ángel. Oh, Mariela. Presente. Thank you, Mariela. Welcome. Good evening. Miguel Meléndez. Olga Valdez. Present teacher. Thank you, Olga. Welcome. Telma Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Telma. Good evening. Welcome. Verónica Alas. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening and welcome, Veronica. Vilma Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. And good we're evening. gonna have Zaira Melara. Zaira Melara? No, she isn't right. Okay. Uh, let me check. Soon here, really quick. Tengo a uh, Christian. Thank you, Christian. Welcome. Uh, Alejandra Maria Mejia. Ok, Alejandra, ahorita. Alejandra María. Ok, Alejandra María. Thank you. Ahorita ya le tomé ahí la Ok. Welcome, people. It's nice to have you. Ok. And I hope everything is ok. Ok. Like, at home, everybody healthy and happy. Ok, so thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everything you do. Because I know it's... It's a lot of work, right? A lot of work, um, and and you did it well. You are doing it pretty much very good. So everything you're doing is pretty much uh, great. Okay, so that's that's good, and I hope that we can continue working now. Okay, number play. Sorry. I'm just looking for something here, but I think I did a mistake. Oh. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Mire, este, no escuché mi nombre. Lo que pasa es que ahorita voy manejando, pero ya no tardo en llegar a la casa. Solo le dije que iba a estar viviente ahorita. Eh, sí, ya le había tomado asistencia, eh, eh, Juan. No se preocupe. Los que me escribieron okay. en el chat, Gracias. les tomé asistencia. Fueron los primeros, por eso no, se me olvidó mencionar su nombre, porque ya lo sabía pues este, tomado en cuenta yeah, don't, don't worry okay? don't worry thank you so much okay let's begin with a game just give me a minute because this thing is, is loading oh my gosh oh my gosh no 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 sorry okay let me show you let me show you the material here that was the one what happened you didn't find the material yes. no I didn't, I didn't i didn't i didn't find it uh, I, I mean i thought 
No, got it, but that's not the case. So I need to do something next. We're gonna start with this conversation that is here. Okay, we're gonna listen to the conversation. Then we're gonna do practice a little bit, um, which is pretty much about brothers and sisters in a little bit of the content that we have available here. Okay, so let's listen and watch, and then we will practice. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their families. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. We're going to skip the question and we're going to go straight to this conversation. Okay, so we have Marcos and Meli. Okay, so if you notice the audio, there was an accent coming from them, right? Yes, that was pretty nice. Okay, that was pretty nice. Uh, hay un website que se llama Hello English, donde ustedes pueden escuchar eh, conversations y ahí pueden escuchar los different absents. Okay. Thank you. Hello English tiene dos, tri, tres L's tiene. Okay. Okay, entonces, cuando lo encuentren, y va sin H, solo es. Hello, English. It's like, hello, English. Something like that. Déjenme ver si la encuentro. Y se las comparto aquí en el chat on Zoom. Okay. Um, es un website. Um, for your practice. Y donde puede encontrar, pues, un montón de conversations about... Oh, uh, yes. Okay, lo encontré. Ahí lo puede encontrar por niveles. Okay, la mayoría son listening y tiene a little bit of grammar. Okay, uh, te lo voy a compartir ahorita aquí en el chat de Zoom. Solo déme un minuto porque tengo que hacer everybody. Okay, here we go. Ahí está. Este es el website donde usted puede escuchar los eh, listening y ahí va a encontrar un montón de absence. Okay, so why? Absence are very important because Salvadoreños tenemos an absent when we speak. Yes. So it's, it's, sometimes it's very strong and sometimes we tend to, we tend to fake, let's say, right? Uh, but at the end, it's like uh, with, with phonology and pronunciation, we can improve the accent that we have. You know what I mean? But uh, when we are learning at the beginning, we have the absent, right? We have the absent. And here, um, when, when when it comes to let's say to improve or to get rid of the accent, sometimes what you can do is you can like practice and practice and practice because that's that will help you a lot. Okay. So well, another recommendation for me about the absent is like elija un character, right? Elija un no sé alguien que usted pues digamos um, alguien un artista, no sé, o alguien que hable en uh, el inglés, right? Y, y trate de entonar la, la forma como lo habla. Yes, you know what I mean? Entonces, eso le va a ayudar a usted para, para pues, cuando estemos... Um... Ok, Gabriela Ramírez, thank you so much. Cuando estemos um, tratando de improve or get rid of the accent, uh, that will help us. Ok. Uh, but the key one is with practice, you know, practice and practice so you can uh, and, and try to pronounce the words the best you can. Yes, the best you can. Here we have Marcos and Emeli. Okay, I think that's the way we pronounce. We are going to have, um, let me see, Elena and you, Irma, please. You, Irma, you are Marcos. In okay. The Meli, okay. Please. Okay, I'm Marco. 
Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Bailey? Actually, I'm only child. Really? Yeah, most family families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Oh, thank you so much. Just we have typical, just typical. Okay, is that typical in Peru? Typical. Yes, yes. Okay. very good. Right. Um, thank you so much. So this so this is the conversation where we have um things about relatives or family. Right? As you may know. Um, the, the title of this section five is about family members, right? And talk about that, right? Uh, because uh, in English, somehow when we communicate, in, in some cases, sometimes we mention about our relatives, we talk about family members. And we are going to practice this ones in, in pairs or in trios. So, Toma la captura, please take a screenshot about this one. Um, so you can save it. And then be ready, and then be ready with your um with your um, cell phone. Also, if you if someone can send it on the on the group here on WhatsApp, that would be good. That would be fantastic. Oh my gosh, you did it already. Very good, Ventura. Also, Christian, Cristina, very good, Cristina. This is the website que les comentaba. Very good. Yes, this is the website. This WhatsApp, sí me gusta mucho porque tiene tiene ejercicios aparte de que usted Escucha, right? Tiene exercises. Y va subiendo de nivel. Yes, va subiendo de nivel, right? So you can... Um, Interesting. I will try it. Oh, that's that's good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. I will open the breaker rooms. Again, I will make For groups sure. of groups of three in case uh, I think some of your classmates are not able to participate. They cannot participate because of their mic. is not working. So I will open this breaker room right now. Uh, let me check the options here. Okay, the time. Again, if you have time left, you can keep practicing. Keep practicing uh, as many times as possible. Okay. In la sala principal se va a quedar Cristian David, Elena, Irma, and Jose Antonio. Okay, you will be here in the main room. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, Cristian, Elena, Marisol. <clears throat> Irma and Jose Antonio Mont. Okay. okay Los demás, okay. cuando les llegue la invitación, okay. please join, join your partner so you can practice um, this conversation about family members. Okay. So, thank you. Very good. Vilma, you need to join Vilma. Lourdes, you need to join Lourdes. Join your partners. Very good. Um, eh, Dalila, you need to join Dalila. Me yes. regresó a la sala principal. Ok, la voy a volver a enviar. La voy a enviar a una y la voy a mandar a otra. Ok. Ok, I'm sorry. Alejandra, Alejandra María. Alejandra, hello, Alejandra. Okay, let me turn on. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, this is time for you to practice, Irma, and the your group, but you can uh, practice the conversation. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, who is with me? Imagen. Eh, no sé si va a empezar usted o empiezo yo. Eh, si quiere empiezo yo. Ok. Pero estoy acomodando la imagen. 
Marcos. Entonces sería yo Marcos. Sí. How many brother and sister do you have mainly? Actually, I am a uh, only child. Really? Yeah. Most family in China, in China have only one child. No day. I, I did. No that. What about you, Marcus? I come from big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Oh, wow, it's that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller. This is days, but the families are great because you there are lots of birthday presents. Okay, ahora voy a hacer yo Marco y usted es May. Sí. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mayli? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one children. No way this. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical is Peru? Not re really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Thank you so much. We have pronunciation child. Child here. Child. Child. Yes. Child. Child. Eh, otra palabra que no sé cómo se pronuncia es no one dies. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Nowadays. Nowadays. No, nowadays. nowadays. Exactly. Nowadays. Okay. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. Okay. Eh, más. Alejandra María puede participar. Yes. Yo tengo dudas en la, en la de mail y donde dice what, ¿cómo se dice la siguiente palabra? Aquí, about what, qué? what about uh -huh. you? Aquí, uh -huh. what about sí. you, Marcos? About. About, exactly. ¿De qué? About. What about you? About es cuando acerca de. Okay, about es acerca de. Entonces, uh, what about you, Marcos? Okay, and, and the best question está al principio. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Okay, so here we are talking about brothers and sisters, right? Um, entonces, only child, ¿qué creen que significa only child? What is the meaning of that? Only, only. I know my question. Soy, soy único, soy único. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly, exactly. Only child is so único. Very good. Great job. I like Dragon Ball. Oh, um, that's great. Yes, right. I, I watch that series in English sometimes. Um, yeah. The, the grammatic is important to, to know how you can um, use the words, but you have to listen English content. Yeah. In my case, uh, for improve my English, I use, for example, Duolingo apps yeah. and I'm another good. app, and I'm I like good. it. And I like it uh, watching the uh, videos on YouTube, for example, 
Pacho Ochoa is very interesting to oh. improve your English. Okay, you have a, a beautiful accent too. And the practice, mm -hmm. who is continue with the practice, Elena? <laughs> and the teacher, where is? <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for, yeah, let us know that one. But yeah, those okay. strategies you, you use in to learn English, that's good. If you have yeah. the time, do it. That's wonderful. Very good. Not okay. a lot of time, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you take advantage of the time you have available. Right? So it's like uh, at, at least 30, 30 minutes or one, one hour a day. That, that's good. Yes. I really, uh, actually, I have a job, a new job. I started the this week oh that's good fantastic that's fantastic <laughs> yes. yes that's amazing that's amazing i hope <laughs> everything will be good okay yes. thank you very good okay so let's hear just a few participation from this one uh, gabriela orellana usted va a ser marcos and iliana elizabeth hernandez you are meli ready let's begin okay okay Hat man and brothers and sister, do you have Iliana? Actually, I am only chill. Really? Yeah. Ma, most families in China have only one chill nowadays. I think not that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are rich because you get lo lots of birthday presents. Very good. We have child, child. Okay, very good. We have child. Let's get another participation. Christian, please. You are Marcos Christian. And let me see. Thelma, you are mainly Thelma. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Okay. Este, este teacher, este, yo, yo, Marcos, no. Yes, yes, Christian. Uh, uh, how many brothers and, and sisters do you have, Maylie? Do you have Christian? <laughs> Actually, um, I only shield. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one shield. No ways. No, uh, no days. I didn't know that. What about you, Christian? Um, I come from a big family. I have three bro. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa! Is that typical in Peru? Mm, not really. A lot of family are small these days. But the families are great because you get lots of birthday present. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Okay, we need a little bit of practice on that one so we can improve those mistakes on pronunciation, but that was very good. Okay, very good. Keep practicing, keep learning because you're doing it very, very good. Now, the big question that we have in this conversation, right? is about family, right? So at the beginning of the conversation, we have uh, this one, how, oh my gosh, how many brothers, okay, and sisters do you have? Yes? So, just because in section number five, we're talking about family, we have this question in this conversation. How many brothers and sisters? Lourdes, come on, contest this question. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Ah. 
-huh. Estoy pensando en lo que me dijo el otro día. Oh, ok, ok. ok. How many brothers? Yes, how many brothers and Aquí sisters? Aquí sí, I have. Vuelvo a lo mismo, ¿verdad? Excuse me? Um, I have. Yes, yes, that is uh, correct. I have one sister and one brother. Okay, okay. Can you send me some information about your brother, please? Um, my brother, uh, his name is Ernesto. He, um, he's live in the USA. And my sister, her name is Janira. He's live and work in San Salvador. Very good. So, so he, he lives and she lives, right? He lives. Exactly. And she lives. Mm. Very good. Okay. That's very okay. nice. That's very nice. Very good. So you have just the three of you in your family, right? Yes. Yes. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Very good. What about you, Ileana Hernandez? How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have um, three brothers and one sister. Can you tell me the information about them, please? Just, just a few details. Um, Let's begin with the is with your sister. Let's begin with your sister and then with your brother. Okay. Um, his name. His name, no, she, she. Her, her name. Oh, her name is um, Diana. Um, she were um, in a teacher. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's fantastic. Okay. That's wonderful. Okay, that's fantastic. Very good. Um, she um, um have um thirty one. Oh, she have or she is? She, <laughs> she is. Okay, very good. What about your brothers? Tell me about your brothers. Uh, uh one brother or. Um... No, tell me about the three of them, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Porque tengo tantos hermanos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Okay, le voy a dar un you poquito ahí. Okay, va a empezar, okay. Um, their names, okay. Are, okay. Okay. Their names are, their names are, uh, Francisco, mm -hmm. Jaime, okay, and Carlos. Okay. Ahora uno por uno, okay. Solo esta información, H and J. Okay. Um, her name is. Francisco. Francisco. Um, eh, mm, me acuerdo cuánto es. No. Invent. <laughs> invent. 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 Give me a number. Okay. Oh. Um, 20, 29. <laughs> okay. Francisco is 29. Ah, Francisco is 29. Um, He he wore um 
sí, sí. ¿De albañil? ¿Cómo es, Chiche? Obrero. Oh, maybe a worker. I don't know. Construction worker. Yes. Yes. Like he works in con con construction. Okay. Things like that. Con construction. Construction. Um, yeah, construction worker. He's a construction worker. Let's say. Um, um, thank you. What about Jaime? Tell me. Jaime. He have um, um, 20, 20, 22. 22. He is? Um, he is? 22. 22. Mm -hmm. um, he is a war, um, architect. Okay, very good. Thank you. What about Carlos? Um, Carlos, he is um, 80. 80, like A0. Eighty, like, like this one? No, no, okay. <laughs> 18. Okay. Oh, 18, okay, very good, 18. Yes, 18. Um, he is a student. Oh, very good, thank you so much, okay? Don't forget Diana and, and everybody, okay? No se les olvide el verb to be. Okay. Okay. El work to be, con estas tres cosas que están acá, lo más fácil, lo más easy, vaya con el work to be. ¿Ok? Yes. Ahora, yes. por ejemplo, cuando se empieza a hablar, por ejemplo, un ejemplo, Francisco is 30 years old. He is a construction worker. ¿Ok? Una vez mencioné el nombre, ya no voy a mencionar otra vez el, el name, sino que va con el pronombre, he, okay? o, o she, in that case, it's a girl. Okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Let's work with, let me check, Ángel Isaac Cibrián. Hello, Ángel. This question is for you. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Hi, Gloria. Mm, I have. One sister. Yeah, okay. Can you give me some details about it, please? Thank you. About her. Okay. I have one sister. Uh, her name is Rachel Sirian. Mm. She's 14 years old. And he's a student. Oh, he or Very, she? She is a student. Okay. And she likes uh, to play video games with her friends. And she likes to watch a, a romantic movie with her friends. Oh, a romantic movie. Sounds pretty amazing. Thank you so much. Very good, Isa. Also, I love the way you use simple present over there. Also, remember that you can use ING. She likes watching movies. Okay. She likes reading books. She likes listening to music. Okay, you can use ing when you have likes. Okay, and dislikes. Okay. Okay. Very thank good. You. Thank you so much. So in here, si nos dieron cómo está, usó that one. That was very nice. Okay. Job. Uh, when it comes to communicate about something about other people. Now let's get into a little bit of grammar here. Okay, we're gonna work with this a little bit of differences. Gabriela Lisette Lopez Ramirez. Thank you, Gabriela. Ayúdame a leer this information. Thank you. My pleasure. Jean, Jean is watching television. He is not playing the guitar, but Jean has a guitar. He plays it often and he plays very well. Jim plays the guitar, but he is not playing the guitar now. Uh, the questions, is he playing the guitar? No, he isn't. 
Does he play the guitar? Yes, he does. Thank you so much. So here we have a combination, right? Of the present continuous and the present simple. If you notice, there are some characteristics that we can identify when it comes to talking about the action that is happening at the moment or something that we do often or, so, or something that somebody does often. Yes. And this one we have gene, right? In here we have present continuous context and also present, a simple present context. Okay. So, uh, Let me show you more examples. Here we have the present continuous, and here we have the simple present. When do we use the present continuous? And basically, ahorita lo estamos viendo with things that we are doing at the moment, right now. Yes? Ayúdeme, Christian, a leer, please, estas sentences, please. Thank you. Este, pass, please. Pues, please be quiet. ¿Cómo? Quiet. Quiet. I am working. No hay no hay work. Very good. Continue. Tom Tom is Tom is a shower. Taking. Taking. Right. ¿Cómo, bro? Taking. Otra vez desde el principio. I'm sorry. Tom is talking. Taking. Taking. Tom is talking. Taking. Uh, taking. Taking. Mm, taking. Yes, I back this time. Very good. Otra vez. Tom. Tom is taking mm -hmm. um, a shower right now. Very good. Very yeah. good. Tom takes. Take. Take. Then. Take. Take. And. An umbrella. Take an umbrella with you. Very it's good. raining. 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 Very good, Christian. Uh, Continue. You can turn off the television. Uh, I am not watching it. Very good. Why are you under the table? What are you doing? Very good. Thank you so much, Christian. Very good. Okay. So this is the context of, of present continuous, right? It is something that is happening well, at the moment, at the time I'm speaking. Okay. So that's that's why we have verb to be in ing here in the context, right? So you need to use the present continuous well when the action is happening at the moment. And the present simple in general, in all the time or sometimes. Yes, here, if you may see, we have some examples taken into consideration, right? There is a little difference, but it's very huge, let's say. Jenny, Molina, are you the examples with Jenny Molina? Yes, Jenny, 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 Molina. Every day from uh, nine o'clock to uh, 520. 30. 30. 530. Tom takes a shower every morning. It rains a lot in the winter. El de abajo no lo veo, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. No I, lo miro. I, don't watch, I don't watch television very often. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. So, okay, teacher. Perfect. Miren, perfect. Pero aquí estoy en la clase. Oh, yes, that's good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So, mire, mire cómo va la estructura, right? Siempre en, en el simple present enfatizamos bastante en los verbs. Yes. Y cuando es negativo, utilizamos done. Okay, so I work, done, takes, and it rains. Okay. Uh, yes. So, this is the way we use it. Be careful, okay? Because in the context, in the context, right? We're gonna use with general things, things that we do every day, right? Or sometimes, like your daily routine, uh, the things that you do at work, let's say, uh, those are the things that we usually use in the present, okay? Yes. Um, any question about this? 
Any question? Let's practice, okay? Let's practice. Okay, this is right, el verb to be, or do, don, das, or das. Let's begin number one. Excuse me, do you speak English? What about number two? Help me out with number two, Irma. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, the number two, where's Marta? I don't know. Exactly, very good, right? <laughs> where's Marta? I, I don't know, okay? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Carlos uh, Lopez, will you participate, Carlos? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Number number three, please. Okay, what's so funny? Why, why are, what are you laughing? Laughing, laughing. Con una F, so, laughing. Laughing. La laughing. Okay. Why are you laughing? Okay. Entienden que significa laughing? Laughing? Mm, no, no. Tengo like mi duda. A, like el Joker. Okay. Like el Joker. Remember the Joker? Yeah. The smile. Yeah. Yes. Sonrisa. Exactly. Right. Why are you laughing? Lisa, why? Why are you laughing? Yeah. Nothing. What's so funny? <laughs> Por eso le decía yeah. que risas, right? Escuché <laughs> una consulta. Es aparte un paréntesis. Estaba viendo que han dicho presente acá en el chat, pues, pero no sé si tomo en cuenta la asistencia en oh. el chat de, de aquí de, de Zoom. De Zoom, sí, sí, sí. Ah, okay. Ahí me puso Thank usted, you. verdad, que, que estaba, que estaba, este. ¿No? Sí, Juan Carlos, sí, usted me puso que, pues que estaba de oyente, ¿no? y que después se iba a incorporar. Yes. Otros compañeros sí. estaban viendo, dicho. Sí, 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 también. Sí, ah, okay. sí. Sorry. sí, a todos los que estuvieron ahí en el chat de Zoom, pues ya les tomé asistencia. Así que, oh, don't worry, ok. Yes, very good. Thank you. So let's work with number four. Mm -hmm. Number four is for you. Yes, that's you. Let me see. Telma. Number four, ten, please. Thank you. What do your sister do? Okay, one more time. What do do your do your sister do? Mm, yes, la idea la tiene. That is very good. Pero solo un detallito, ¿vale? Right? Parece que tenemos two options cuando es simple present. Tenemos do and does. Do, do and does. Mm -hmm. Entonces, usted me utiliza. Me utiliza. Exactly. What does. Exactly. What does. That. What does. Exactly. Because. Yes. She said. Exactly. Because okay. she, here we have sister. Right? Because it's a sister, we're going to use what does. Very good, Thelma. She's a dentist. Okay, she's a dentist. Yeah, very good. Wonderful. Uh, Lourdes, thank you. Number five, Lourdes. It is raining. Okay, continue, please. Thank you. I. One, two. Mm -mm. I want to go out of the rain. Y no sé. Okay. It is raining. I... It is raining. Está lloviendo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I... Okay. Think about the context, Lourdes. Think about the context. Like, es think about you. Yo le encuentro you... sentido así. I mean... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, because it is raining, right? It is raining. So what, 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 what do you do when it's raining? Okay. Yes. So, or, or what do you say when it's raining? Based on the context. I don't know. Oh, mira, ahí me está dando la respuesta, right? Ahí me... <laughs> yes. I'm a teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Ajá, ¿lo I, don't, I don't want to go outside. Exactly, right. Yeah. Exactly. Ok, ¿no les ha pasado? Yes. Está lloviendo. Y van para el trabajo, right? No, hombre, si está lloviendo, no me puedo mover. I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't want to go out in the rain. Yes. So okay. it, it's, it's raining and I don't have an umbrella, right? No umbrella. Entonces, ¿qué digo? I don't want to get wet. So I don't want to go out in the me rain. Me quiero mojar. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Right. So what, what would the context? Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. What about number six? Uh -huh. That is for you. Well. Let me see. Leticia del Carmen. Hello, Leticia. Number six. Leticia del Carmen. Hello, Leticia del Carmen. Ingrid. Thank you, Ingrid. Number six, Ingrid. Sería dos. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Think, read, read like the, the sentence and try to figure okay. it out. What is, what is the question? Because aquí tenemos la answer, miren. Canada. Uh -huh. Canada. Where um, um, you come from? Or oh, where are? Oh, where, where are you telling me? You're telling me where? Oh, okay. Uh, Lea la ahorita, Inge, please, the question. Where are you come from, Canada? Mm. Good or? Oh. Where are you come from? Um, let me check the chat, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Irma. That's very good. That is correct, Irma. That is correct. Uh, also, Irma, a little bit is very good. Very good, Irma. Okay. Um, Alba, thank you, Alba. Se está levantando la mano. Apoyemos a Ingrid, okay? So, Ingrid, Ingrid is telling me that is R. What do you think, Alba? Do? Oh, okay. Voy a, voy a borrar R y voy a poner do. Okay, so let's check, okay? Okay. okay, now, can you can you read the question, Ingrid? Ingrid, can you please read the question? Mm, two. Yeah, read the question, please. Leame la pregunta, please. Where did you come from? Okay, como, como escucha que suena, like, ¿cuál sería, are or do? Do. Yes, very good, it is do. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Canada, right? Where do you come from? Very good, okay? Se acuerdan que una vez les dije, right? Cuando está en la vida real, pues no hay necesidad de que a veces, pues, dé el full detail, okay? So, no. a veces le pedimos in class que usted diga, I am from Canada, right? So, mira, aquí tenemos Canada, directly, right? Thank you so much, very good. It was very good, thank you. And let me check. Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Number seven, Dalila. Number seven. Number seven, Dalila. How much is it cost the same as I can? Okay, very good. You tell me how much is. Okay, Lea, one more time the question, please. Thank you. How much is it costs to send a letter to Canada. Okay, ¿cómo crees que la question? Good? Oh, not too good. Mm -hmm. Christian, ¿qué cree que usted tenemos? Is aquí o, o, o lo cambiamos por uno de estos? Do, don, does, or does it? No sería das, profe. Oh, okay. We have on there. That's don't worry. Okay. We estamos learning. Okay. So that's listen. This is that. Lea la hora la question. Uh, please. Dalila. Thank you. How much does it cost to send a letter to Canada? 
Ok, ¿cómo crees que suena esta? Mejor que la otra is o, o lo quedamos con with is, Dalila. Exactly, that is correct. That is correct. Very good, Christian. Does, okay. How much does it cost? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. And the last one, which is this one, number, number eight, that is going to be for you, Olga. Thank you, Olga. Number eight. Thank you so much. Uh, is sorry, read read the sentence, please. Thank you. Read Steve? the sentence, Olga. Steve. Is, uh huh. Is uh, yes. Steve is. Uh, Steven is good tennis player, but he is play very often. Very often, okay. Very good. Thank you. Alguien tiene una different opinion about this one? No, he sé si sería, but he but don't. He don't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh. He don't. Oh, well, doesn't or don't? He doesn't or he don't. don't. He's done. Oh, don't. Don't doesn't. Verónica is saying doesn't. Irma? Doesn't. Doesn't. Irma is saying doesn't. Jose Antonio is saying doesn't. Very good. Yes, doesn't. that is correct. We have doesn't here. Okay. Doesn't. Very good. Ahora ya le entendí. Oh, very good. Thank it's, you so much. Está diciendo que él fue uno y me dice que no, que hoy él es el otro. Doesn't. Oh, my God. Okay. Yo entendía que él jugaba el otro. El, el, donde dice very. Por eso yo decía que era el sí es un oh, jugador. Okay. Yes, no, it's like, él, él juega, right, tennis, okay? He, he's a good tennis player. Yes, he's good, he's good. But, um, pero aquí tenemos, ¿por qué es negativo? Porque tenemos este but, que creo que lo habíamos hablado, ¿vale? Utilizamos el but para dar algo, pues, contrario a lo que hablamos en la primera sentence. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Mm? Sí, okay, tiene razón. But, he doesn't play very well, okay? So, this is the present continuous and also the present simple, okay? How do we use them? Well, it depends on the context. And the difficult one, para mí, el más difícil es el simple present because of the rules that we need to use, okay? Right, so we have some rules that we need to use when we have with simple present and uh, the things with present continuous is pretty much very simple, okay? With simple present, uh, don't forget that we use, um, uh, let's say, Lo más difícil es esto. Third person singular. Ok. Esto es lo más difícil. Por ejemplo, uh, she cooks a uh, dinner, let's say, right? Ok. So ahí está lo más difícil. I uh, work late. Ok. So that is the difficult part. This one, the third person singular. And also with questions that we negative, we use do and we use does, okay? As well. This is with simple present one. So do you, I'm sorry, do you work uh, late? I'm sorry. Yes. Do you work late? No, I don't. Right? Oh, geez, I did it the opposite. I'm sorry. No, I don't. Yes. Does um, she cook dinner? Oh, yes. She does. Okay. Okay, so, um, igual. Right. Si le hacen la pregunta que hemos estado viendo uh, from the beginning, is like, how many brothers and sisters do you have yes how many brothers and sisters do you have and this sentence that we have here is with present simple so that means you are going to talk about using simple present and as you may know el verb to be is the is um and are is present simple that's why we use it here to communicate 
the things about your brothers and your sister. Por eso, pues les pedía que dijeran, oh, um, her name is, uh, I don't know, Maria, uh, she is a teacher, or he is an engineer, he is 29, she is 30, and so on and so on. And the difficult part out of those things, uh, between present continuous and simple present, creo que el present con simple es, es el difficult to use. Okay, so my recommendation, uh, working on simple present, keep practicing, and also go to bed and good night. Tomorrow, tenemos classes, right? At the same time, thank you so much for your participation, and we will see you. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher.